Namaste everyone, my name is Greg Prescott from N5D.com and today I'm taking you to my meditation altar and this is what we have right here. Um, it's pretty cool and what I'm going to do is, well I'm showing you this right now, um, but I'll bring this over to the computer, several of these stones and we'll have a better understanding of what these are and I'll also be doing some card readings. So, um, this is pretty cool. I can't pronounce this person's name. Honestly, um, I'm looking at it. Savar Swati. Savar Swati. <laughs> I like it because he's playing some kind of stringed instrument. And being a guitarist, it resonated with me. I got this in Mexico. And I'm not sure which Mayan... Uh, deity this person is but it just looks pretty cool and got that in Cozumel and we have our, our Buddhas and a little mermaid over here and uh, a bunch of different quartz uh, double terminated which is good for healing on either side and this is just so gorgeous isn't it colors on it absolutely beautiful um, and I've got my pendulum and a lighter for all of the incense I have over here <laughs> with this one being my favorite the moldavite absolutely love that incense um, but yeah what I'll do is I'll grab a few of these stones and I'll bring it over to my other computer and we'll take it from there. Okay, so I'm back here. I don't have to stabilize the camera. And um, what I'm gonna do is show you some of the stones that I picked out um, specifically. Now this one is Shungite and um, it's a Shungite pyramid. I also have a Shungite heart. It's beautiful. These are good for detoxifying and purifying the body. Uh, absorbing uh, negative elements, um, negative energy, uh, even EMFs. You could use that for an EMF. Um, you could use this for insomnia if you um, need a boost in energy, dealing with stress, anxiety, psychic problems, and with any black stone, you know, they're also awesome for just grounding. So if you want to, you know, just grab onto that if you, if you don't have access to you know, going barefooted in the grass or going outside if the weather's inclement or, you know, if it's winter, <laughs> you know, you can, always, you can always grab a a black, you know, obsidian or shungite or some kind of dark colored stone to ground. <clears throat> this one is really cool, too. Um, I got this. Can you guys see that? This is called Storolite, and I don't know if you guys can see the the little gemstone in there. There's a there's a red gemstone, a garnet in here, um, but it's in the shape of a cross. It's pretty cool. Um, it's also called a fairy stone or a fairy cross, and it honors the four directions. So you have you know north, south, east, west in this. Um, it helps to stimulate all of your chakras and helps keep your inner eye open. Uh, it's a talisman of good luck. It shields against negativity. Um, so, you know, it's, it's kind of like the, the back off cross. <laughs> I'm trying to get that garnet to show in there. Um, it's good for stress and depression, uh, centering and grounding. It helps to increase your telepathic and clairvoyance abilities. And if you're trying to quit smoking, you know, give it a shot, <laughs> hang on to it, um, put it in your pocket uh, or the pocket that you normally carry your cigarettes in. And it helps with the treatment of bacterial, viral, and fungal infections. So, did you guys see that? It's, there's a little garnet in there anyway, but um, not all of them have the garnet. I got this at the second N5D conference that I had 
and that one was in Los Angeles. And uh, we had this group of ladies that came out that surrounded our whole area and were toning. And before they started toning, I was given this by one of them as a gift. And I've hung on to it ever since. And their toning was absolutely amazing. Um, it moved me so much. I mean, it brought tears to my eyes. It was that powerful. Okay, the last stone. This is so pretty. This is Oh, 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 oh,